Hello everybody, I've Jen here. For the last week or so, I've been working on optimizing this farm right here to create as many cakes in an hour as possible. Currently, I have two iterations of this farm, the Super AFK way and the about 95% AFK method. The Super AFK method will give you about 25 cakes an hour, which is the fastest I was able to calculate using this method that I have here. And the 95% AFK method will give you about 50 cakes an hour, which is also the fastest method I was able to calculate and test using the method I have. So as you can see, the slightly less AFK will net you twice as many cakes as the full AFK method. To push these farms to their maximum effectiveness, we will be using floppies to AFK in the base. In case you didn't know, when you have crafted the floppy necklace, floppies will automatically pick up items in a certain range around you. This will save you from having to use any transportation pals and will allow your pals to work much more efficiently as they won't have to pick up random items that drop on the floor and bring them to chests. One thing to keep in mind about floppies is that their range is not the same size as your base though. So you will have to build your farm around your character in a way that the floppies can reach every corner of your farm. Next, the difference between the AFK and the less AFK method are the way in which we will be acquiring eggs and milk. After testing, farming eggs and milk with mazarinas and chickpeas is significantly less efficient than farming berries, cooking them, and then selling them. I will go over the math behind this later in the video, but for now let's get into the farm layouts. So for the AFK farm, we will be manually farming eggs and milk. This will require us to run this layout, 8 chickens, 4 lilines, 2 dormuntides, 3 cows, 2 bee guards, and 1 fire dormuntide to actually cook the cakes that you are making. You will also need to place 3 wheat plantations, 4 berry plantations, 1 to 2 of these will be used for feeding your pals, and 1 to 2 will be used for the cakes themselves. And you will also need 5 ranches for all your ranch pals. For the less AFK method, we will be cooking and selling berries instead of farming for eggs and milk. As you can see, eggs and milk on the AFK farm take up about 11 slots. So for this layout, we will want to have 11 Lyleens, 3 Jormuntides, 2 Jormuntide Ignis, and 4 Bee Guards. As you can see, there are twice as many Bee Guards because we will be generating twice as many cakes. We will also need to place 22 plantations, 7 wheat plantations, 2 ranches, 2 cooking stations, and a mill. To make this farm as efficient as possible, I also recommend catching a merchant that sells eggs and milk. You can find one here at this outpost where you'll be able to catch him. This will save you time on selling berries and buying eggs and milk. Another way to make your farm as efficient as possible is to employ the help of the silo, the flower bed, and the water fountain. Using these will increase the productivity of your farm by about 20-25%. to 25%. The way this farm works is very simple, so all you have to do is get 4 floppies and an electric pal if you want to use an electric cooker, and go AFK in your base, throw out your electric pal so that you can start generating electricity, and then you're going to want to sit AFK for as long as you like, and your floppies will run around and pick up all the items that are dropped by your plantations and your ranches. So during testing, I AFK'd this farm for about 3 hours. When I came back, I cooked all my berries and milled all my flour. And during the cooking and milling processes, I was able to get the additional berries I needed to cook the cakes themselves. Once I was done cooking the berries, I had about 17,000 berries in 3 hours. I put 2,000 into my feeding box and sold the rest of the merchant for about 150,000 gold. With this, I bought 1,600 eggs and 1,400 milk. This allowed me to cook 200 cakes in a total of about 4 hours of AFKing 95% of the time. Okay, so that is all you need to know about these two farms. So you can just replicate this and go out and do it yourself. But for anyone who is curious about the math behind selling berries versus farming milk and eggs, here it is. I AFK'd at my farm for about 7 hours and a bunch of 6 minute increments to see how much milk and eggs and honey I could produce per hour from one cow, chicken, and bee. The results look something like this. As you can see, one chicken can produce 24 eggs an hour, and if you aren't passing nights by sleeping, and one cow can do 62 milks in the same conditions. I also gather the times it took for crops to grow, plant, harvest, and water. Here's that data. Keep in mind, all this data was taken on vanilla pals without any passive skills, and this even omitted the use of fountain, flower box, and mill. So if we compare the 8 chickens from the AFK farm to a collection of 5 Lyleen and 2 Jormuntide and a Jormuntide Ignis, in one hour, the 8 chickens will produce 192 eggs, which makes 24 cakes. In one hour, if we use 8 cows, we will produce much more at 496 milk, which will make us 70 cakes. A combination of 5 Lyleens and 2 Jormuntides will give us about 18 berry plantations. 18 berry plantations with a full rotation of berries taking about 139 seconds without any modifiers would be about 466 harvests per hour. If we take the day and night cycle into account though, this will have this amount to 233. So each harvest gets 15 berries and each berry when cooked is worth 10 gold. So we will get about 35,000 gold in one hour from 18 berry plantations, which is enough to buy 700 milk or 700 eggs. 700 is more than 192 and 496, so this method is a lot more efficient. 
Another thing to note is that the berry plantation method can be further increased with the introduction of water fountains, mills, and flower boxes. Each will increase its respective portion of labor by about 20 to 25%, which is what I found in testing. So overall, we can make this process about 20 to 25% faster. Thank you for watching my video and be sure to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content and if you have any questions or problems with my math or want to see a certain type of video, please leave a comment. Thank you and good luck.